Topping up some bacon here. Maybe about a quarter of an inch thick strip. So you don't have to worry about separating it because it'll separate when it cooks. Right now, I also have my pan heating up. It's always better to cook with a hot pan. It allows the flavor to be released a little bit easier. And I'm going to throw this in without any oil because the bacon fat itself will start to render. So now we have our onion. The easiest way to do this is to cut off both tops, you see there. Then just do a nice, very light cut right down the side. You can just take it all off right there. You like crispy bacon, cook it down to how you like it. I want a little bit more, get a little bit more of this white fat to turn into this nice bacon grease. So, we're gonna have to throw the onions in, let them cook down in the bacon fat. Also, same thing, you don't really need to separate them, they kind of fall apart as they get cooked. Once you can start seeing through them a little bit, and they're nice and soft, that's kind of where you want your onions to be. I just drained out a little bit of the grease, just cause, you know, bacon's very fatty, and try and keep it a little bit more healthy. But um, leave a little bit, just cause it still adds a lot of flavor to you. Yeah. So, here we got some half and half. I'm just gonna pour it all in, pot pretty much. Uh, actually, not all of it, it seems a little too much. So I just wanna pour enough that it covers um, all the bacon and the onions. Cover the salt, ground black pepper, and a little bit of garlic powder. And now we're gonna let this heavy cream reduce. Now, only the half and half will reduce. This is easier with heavy cream. I just couldn't grab any for this, uh, this one. But you can use half and half, or you can even use milk. But, um, just remember that if you're using milk, which is the thinnest, um, you're gonna need to let it reduce a lot more. You stir it up a little bit, just to make sure it doesn't burn on the bottom. This is getting pretty close to what we want. You see it's getting real thick. This is bubbling a whole lot. So that's exactly what we're looking for. I'm not gonna add the Parmesan cheese. I'm adding a lot. I like Parmesan. It's the, great, the real thing that flavors this sauce. You probably wanna reduce the heat a little bit you don't want this to burn. And also it's real pain in the butt to get off. It's really sticky. Dump it all in. See that the sauce is not huge and so see the pasta very dilly. That's how it should be. Just a, a nice layer because the sauce itself is very flavorful. So this will be more than adequate. Yeah, we're ready to serve.